Dakota Fanning recently opened up about the inappropriate questions and uncomfortable experiences she faced as a child star in Hollywood. In a candid interview with The Cut, the actress reflected on her early career, revealing some disturbing interactions she endured during her rise to fame. As a young star navigating the entertainment industry, Fanning found herself on the receiving end of intrusive and highly personal questions, even at a very young age. The actress, who is now 30 years old and has enjoyed a successful career spanning more than two decades, recalled moments when journalists would ask her bizarre and unsettling questions during interviews. One particularly odd and inappropriate question that stood out to her was, how are you avoiding becoming a tabloid girl? Fanning explained that while she was always considered a mature child, even she was taken aback by the audacity of some of the questions thrown her way. I remember thinking, what? Why are you even asking me that Fanning shared expressing how bewildered she was by the obsession with young celebrities and their potential to fall into scandal or controversy? She also revealed that at another point, someone even asked her, how could you possibly have any friends? It was a moment that left her shocked and confused, especially given her young age at the time. Fanning's career began at the incredibly young age of five, when she first landed small roles on popular television shows like ER and CSI Crime Scene Investigation. However, it wasn't long before she became a household name, thanks to breakout roles in critically acclaimed films such as I Am Sam and War of the Worlds, in which she starred alongside Hollywood heavyweight Tom Cruise. Her performances in those films earned her widespread recognition, including a Critics' Choice Award for acting, which she received at the tender age of seven. Reflecting on those early days, Fanning noted that while she loved acting and her career brought her a lot of success, there were certain aspects of Hollywood culture that could have been harmful had she not been well protected. As a child star, she was often at the center of media attention, with tabloids and reporters watching her every move. Fortunately, she credits her family, particularly her mother, Hannah Joy Arrington, for shielding her from the negative aspects of the industry. Fanning explained that while many other young stars in Hollywood at the time were homeschooled to accommodate their busy schedules, her parents made the decision to send her to a traditional high school. This choice, she believes, played a significant role in keeping her grounded and giving her a sense of normalcy in an industry that could easily consume a young person's life. I think I dodged a bullet in a lot of ways. Fanning said, pointing out that tabloids in the early 2000s were notorious for targeting young stars, often rooting for their downfall. In the interview, Fanning admitted that there was always an underlying pressure for her to fail, even though she was just a child trying to do her job. For so much of my life, it felt like people were just waiting for me to make a massive mistake, she confessed. This created a sense of anxiety and made her feel as though she had to be extra cautious and guarded in her actions. Nevertheless, she's proud of the fact that she has grown up without succumbing to the pitfalls that many young stars in Hollywood face. Finally, I think everybody sees that I've grown up, so I don't have to worry about those things anymore, she added, expressing a sense of relief. Despite the pressures and challenges, Fanning looks back on her early years in the industry with no regrets. She feels fortunate to have had the support of her family, especially her mother, who was present at every step of her career to ensure she was treated fairly and with respect. My mom was with me every second Fanning shared, emphasizing how her mother's presence was crucial in making sure she was treated as an equal to her adult co-stars, even though she was just a child. Fanning's experiences as a young star were not unique to her alone. Her younger sister, Elle Fanning, also found success in the entertainment industry at a young age. The two sisters shared similar experiences, though Dakota's earlier career may have shielded Elle from some of the harsher aspects of the business. Nevertheless, Dakota remains grateful for the lessons she learned and the path she was able to carve out for herself. Looking back, Fanning acknowledges that the way young stars were treated during her early career has changed for the better in recent years. By the time she reached her teenage years, there was a growing awareness in the industry about the need to protect young actors from the media's invasive scrutiny. People couldn't get away with that kind of thing so much anymore. Fanning noted, adding that the shift in attitudes likely spared her from some of the more harmful experiences that young celebrities before her had to endure. In the end, Fanning's journey through Hollywood has been a remarkable one. From her beginnings as a child star to her current success as a versatile actress, she has managed to navigate the often treacherous waters of fame with grace and resilience. While the inappropriate questions and constant pressure may have left her feeling guarded at times, she has emerged on the other side stronger and more confident than ever. Today, she continues to live her life on her own terms, free from the expectations of others and with no regrets about the path she has taken. Fanning's story serves as a reminder of the challenges that young stars face in Hollywood but it also highlights the importance of having a strong support system and staying true to oneself. For Dakota Fanning, the love and guidance of her family, 
along with her own determination, have allowed her to thrive in an industry that often swallows young talent whole. Now, as she looks ahead to the future, Fanning is focused on living her life authentically without the weight of other people's expectations hanging over her head.